So in the last video, we ended by looking at just a very simple schematic for a very basic circuit with one uh, source and one resistor. So we could figure out the current going through that by using Ohm's law. So we got 12 volts divided by five for resistance. And I, I see that this circuit has a, a current of 2.4 amps going through it. Now, in our homes, we are limited by our sources. So see, we have 12 volt batteries, you have nine volt batteries, outlets um, all have the same voltage, but every single electronic device requires a little bit different current um, in order to do whatever job that it um, needs to do. So we have different ways of organizing uh, circuits and resistors so that we can uh, affect the amount of current that's getting to that resistor site. And so the two ways that we can organize resistors are in series or in parallel, right? So if I uh, did put two resistors in series, there is only one path for the current to follow in this example. So if I were to say add one more resistor, and I would put it in series, the current would only have one path to follow, and I'd have a five ohm and a five ohm, and let me just keep the same voltage so we can actually see what happens when you put two in series, right? So you only have one path for the current to follow. So that means the current at any location, if I were to plug up an ammeter, which is a device that measures current anywhere in here, it would have the exact same uh, current, right? So the current at any position is equal to the total current. So how do we find the total current? What, is, what happens when we put these resistors in series to the overall resistance of the circuit? Well, the math for calculating total resistance for a series circuit is this, that the resistances just add. So every single resistor that's in series we would add, and that would be equal to the, what we use the word either total resistance or equivalent resistance, All right? So in this case, I would just take five ohms plus five ohms, and I get a total resistance of 10 ohms, All right? So putting resistors in series actually is going to cause the resistance to increase. So resistance goes up, All right? Now I can use Ohm's law to figure out what is the total current. Since I have the total resistance to their equivalent resistance, I can just use V equals IR and take 12 volts and divide it by 10 ohms and I get 1.2 amps. So this is the current in the entire circuit. And since the current is the same everywhere, it would be 1.2 amps here and 1.2 amps here. Now, the source is 12 volts. So at every position, each resistor, this voltage actually gets shared. So the math for that would say that the voltage of one plus the voltage of, at another plus the voltage at another is all going to equal the total voltage of the source. Well, it's easy to see here that if you've got a 5 ohm resistor and a 5 ohm resistor, that it's going to share the voltage evenly, so each one of them is 6 volts. But we could also use Ohm's law to calculate that, even if we, you know, we didn't have some simple number like this. You would just take the current at that position, which is the total current, times the resistance. And so if I take 5 and I multiply it by 1.2, I get 6 um, volts, right? So I can figure out the voltage, the current, the resistance at every position. And then I could also use, figure out power as well by taking IV or I squared R. So we can see here that by putting them in series, I have increased the resistance. And if we compare our uh, uh, current, it has actually decreased the current, right? So series circuits increase resistance and decrease the current. 
So if we were to talk qualitatively, and you'll see this when you do the circuit lab, that these light bulbs would be dimmer than this light bulb because you've got less current going through them. All right, let's look at what happens then when I put something in parallel. So in this case, let's take those five ohm resistors and I'm gonna put them parallel to one another. When they're parallel to one another, there's more than one path for the current to follow, but they have equal access to the battery so they have the same voltage. So let's do this, All right? So at every single position when something is in parallel, the volts is going to be equal to the total voltage. So this guy gets 12 volts, this guy gets 12 volts, right? Now the current, as it comes around, it can split right here. And I'm sure you've heard the term follows the path of least resistance. This is where that comes from, is using a, a circuit. More current is gonna go to the path where there's least resistance. Well, in this instance, we've got the same resistance, so it would share them equally. But the fact is, is that the total current is gonna split at this location, and some's gonna go here, and some is gonna go here. So we say that the current at every location of a resistor has to add to the total current, right? So we have the total voltage and we have the total current, but we've got to know the resistance in order to be able to calculate this value. So the, the math for determining resistance in a, a parallel circuit is this, one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 and so on and so forth for however many resistors that you have is equal to one over R equivalent or total, All right? So in this case, I'm gonna take one fifth plus one fifth and that gives me two fifths, right? But it's the inverse is the actual total so I'd have to flip this upside down. So it'd be five divided by two which is equal to two and a half ohms. So you can see by putting these five ohm resistors in parallel with one another, I've actually caused the resistance to go down, right? So if the resistance goes down, then the current must go up. So let's go ahead and just figure out what is the actual uh, resistance, or sorry, the actual uh, I total. So you get 12 volts and you divide it by two and a half total ohms and I get 4.8 amps. However, this guy has to share and this guy has to share. So if I wanted to figure out the current at each individual position, I could take use my 12 divided by five and get 2.4, right? So I know that there's 2.4 amps here and 2.4 amps here, but they all total up to my 4.8 amps, all right? So parallel uh, resistors actually make the current, if we compare here, makes the current go up and makes the resistance go down, whereas series circuits make the resistance go up and the current go down. If we were to look at the brightness of these bulbs because there's higher current, these bulbs would be brighter than the series bulbs, all right? So in the next video, we'll get a little bit more complicated and we will combine multiple uh, types. We'll combine both parallel and series into the same circuit.